All right, leading us off this morning, we have Scott Murphy here with us from Ramey East at Homes and also Scott Hill with us yeah. from King's Daughters Medical Center. Good morning to you all and thank you for being here. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having us. Sure, thank appreciate you. it. Thank yes, you for having well, us. You all have something really important coming up and we want to hear all about it. Tell us about the Bridges Out of Addiction. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you want to take it? Yeah, so the Bridges Out of Addiction Symposium is something we started several years mm -hmm. ago and I think as you all are very aware, this is a very serious issue in our community. Mm -hmm. So substance use disorder has touched so many families and so many communities. And to be honest with you, we were sick of it. Right. Um, so we wanted to make a difference in our community. So we got together, we started the Bridges Out of Addiction Symposium. And our goal was really to educate the community, to offer some resources, to really help make a difference. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And our, our biggest goal when we started this in 2019, was not to be the most prestigious. Uh, our one goal for the symposium is if somebody can walk away with resources um, and treatment to, mm -hmm. to seek help or a family member gets uh, education to help a loved one, this whole symposium is a su success. Yeah, just helping one person. Yeah. Right, at least one person Absolutely. really is a success because that's one less mm -hmm. person that is, um, you know, caught up in the grips of addiction. Which mm -hmm. the two of you mentioned. I mean, I think you're hard pressed to find someone who doesn't have a family member, right? Uh, or, or someone, knows somebody. yes, someone yes. that you know that's within mm -hmm. that circle um, that has been at some point touched by this. When and where is that symposium happening? I mean, do people have to register for it, or is this something they just show up and take part? Yes, ma'am. So uh, March 7th, we'll be at ACTC at okay. the Ashland Community Technical College at their Ashland campus. Okay. Uh, we'll start at 9 a.m. that morning. Doors will open at 8.30. Okay. And then we'll go till about 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, there should be uh, on your screen uh, a QR code yep. that'll pop up with a phone number also to call. Uh, so we would like for you to register. Okay. Uh, so that way we have the numbers that we need to, to plan. Okay. It's one week from the day, and I think that that's important to put that out there. And that phone number is on the screen. It was on the screen there, so they could register online. They can call that phone number, or they could just show up. We want people to come. Right. If we can make a difference in the lives of one, we want them to be there. And it's some great education. There's really going to be something there for everyone, so it doesn't matter what field you're in. It doesn't matter if you're just a, co a concerned community member. Mm -hmm. There'll be something there for you, so we want everybody to try to come. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask. This isn't just for people who work in the industry. It could be family members, friends, um, you know, just whoever. Absolutely. We have several traveling in. Uh, Judge Linda Davis is coming from Michigan. Uh, she's speaking uh, uh, from a community standpoint as she experienced addiction in her family. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have Al Alex Ellswick coming from the University of Kentucky. Uh, for a speaker, and Rob Perez from DV8 Kitchen um, mm -hmm. in Lexington. Uh, we have Charlotte Wethington doing a breakout session who uh, her son was Casey for Casey's Law uh, in the state of Kentucky. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, and we also have uh, Lou Nichols with Strengthening Families as a program in our community for, for helping families. And um, we have Karen Gearhart uh, and her team members who are, I'm going to get this wrong, so uh, it's um, <laughs> Family Youth uh, Resource Center uh, in the schools, and they're going to be talking about what they see on the front line in the schools. Oh, wow. Uh, as well as Michelle Lofwall. Uh, she's coming to talk about MOUD, um, and she's coming from the University of Kentucky as well. Man, you've lined up a yeah. great <laughs> list of speakers there, uh, yeah. and people that, you know, have, have dealt with this in their yes. lives before, and sometimes mm -hmm. that's the thing, you know, yeah. it's nice to have trusted health professionals that are there, but um, for people who are thinking about taking that step and saying, look, I, I need help. I, I just don't know where to turn. Sometimes it may not be a health professional. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it may be someone who has dealt with this in their life before and can have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. And I think it's yeah. important to point out, too, that if somebody is watching or they have a loved one that yes. they would like to come to this event, right. this isn't something you know where everybody's going to pass judgment. This is something yeah. you want to open this That's up right. to them to offer this, yes. I'll, I'll to, to take that step. I'll be completely honest with you. I'll be in a pair of jeans and a, <laughs> and a t-shirt uh -huh. because this isn't a formal event. This is an event to help our community. That is great I to think, know. I think, too, that, you know, the perspectives will be varied. So, you know, you've got a researcher coming yeah. from the University of Kentucky. Mm -hmm. but we also have um, a retired judge in Greenup County who's very active in his church, uh, Lou Nichols, trying to make a difference mm -hmm. in his community there in Greenup County. So I think that, you know, 
know, we just have a lot of different perspectives oh, yeah. that's coming to the table. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter where you're coming from. We want people to come. There's going to be lunch. We can talk about food. Hey. Yeah, so there's a free lunch. <laughs> and this is that's what's really neat about this. We have a lot of great sponsors. Uh -huh. King's Daughters is one, but we've got a lot of other uh, community sponsors mm -hmm. that's really helping make this happen. It's going to be a free event. Uh, we've got uh, free lunch for everybody. It's mm -hmm. going to be it's going to be a good event, and and I really think we're going to make a difference in the community and, and help many people. So we're very excited about that. I have been just sick to see the substance use disorder and yeah. so many lives cut short, mm -hmm. um, you know, and so many families just torn apart. Right, right. it really break your heart. Yeah. yeah. This is number four. This is our fourth symposium, and yeah. I look forward to celebrating number twenty-five and oh, number yeah. fifty. Oh yeah. And continue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's wonderful. Let's really yeah. quick remind everyone of those uh, that the time of when this is coming up so you can just scan that QR mm -hmm. code there that's going to take you to the page where you can RSVP sign up to be a part of this mm -hmm. and then this is all you said happening a week from today correct one week from one, today one week from and today that phone number if you don't if you can't do computer or whatever just right. call that phone number and uh, and if you don't make the reservation still please come just show up we would love to have you there yeah. well thank you all yes, for what you're you to doing both of you. in the community I mean this is great yeah. Thank you so much Thank for you. having us. Thank hey, you for having us. I hope I hope this event, it, like you say, if you if you help one person, right. that makes it all worth it. Yeah. And and I hope that it that we've it got, happens. We've got a lot re pre-registered already. Yeah. That's so fantastic. We're excited. So thank yeah. you all so much for letting us come on and, yeah. and be able to talk about this. And oh, yeah. a lot. Thank yeah. you. You got it. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. Appreciate it.